Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a mostly a Maggie Holmes haul video for you guys. So I went to four different stores, so this will be four shops online orders. So the first one that I'm going to share with you is scrapbook.com. So my goal when I was ordering all of this was just to beef up the stuff that I already had. or So I got stuff that I didn't already have or stuff that I use a lot from my Maggie Holmes stash. So the first thing that I got were these gather embellishments. I never had these and I just thought they were so pretty. So I picked these up and if you have any questions on how much anything was or links or anything, just drop a note below and I'll let you know where I got it. But this first section is from scrapbook.com. So if you just search Maggie Holmes on there, you should be able to find this stuff. I think most of it had a fair amount still in stock as of the time I posted this video anyways. So I got these guys from the Gather Collection and then I got some more ephemera from the Carousel line. And if you guys have seen this before, it's pretty big ephemera so I also plan to print and cut some of this from the Digital Collection but I wanted some more of this just so I could play with what I already have. And then these are the scrapbook.com exclusive flourish stickers so I got a pack of these I'm almost out of the ones I have so I got another package so I got those these I guess technically are not Maggie Holmes but they give me a Maggie Holmes vibe um, I can't remember if this was her line or not so I just picked these up because they match really well either way. And then I did get a lot of papers, so there's gonna be a lot of papers in this haul video. So I got these tickets so I could cut them apart. These are the Flourish tickets. And then I got some Chasing Dreams papers. So these ones, this one's from Chasing Dreams. And this one is also from Chasing Dreams. Here's another Flourish paper. It's just plain on the back. I think this one was a scrapbook.com exclusive. And then I got some carousel papers as well. I love this side. I think the carousel line is one of my top three favorites by Maggie Holmes. So that is everything that I got from scrapbook.com. Let me get it out of the way. And then the next thing I got was just a couple of things from an Etsy shop. So the Etsy shop name was 365 Scrapbooking. So you can just look that up. I only got three things. Their scrapbook papers were 50 cents when I got these two. So these are both from Flourish. And I apologize for my cat in the background. I think I've explained to you guys before, but he just meows for no reason, forever. Um, I don't think he actually wants anything, he just likes to meow. Anyways, these are the Flourish chipboard, and I had never purchased these, so I picked these up. These were, I think, $4.50-ish from the Etsy store, so I just got them from there. The shipping was about $3.50, and then I got those two papers, so that was a pretty good buy or pretty normal at least. And then my next order was from Paper Issues. So if you guys haven't heard of them, this is their website. And my cat's just gonna keep meowing, but it's fine. Um, I got some Nouveau Drops. I don't have any of these, but I always see people using these to add texture and dimension and I figured this gold glitter was a really safe color to get so I picked this up I think these are about three dollars on paper issues website and then they have a 20% off coupon all the time if you join their Facebook group so I got those and then I got these hooray um, die cuts I don't have these yet and I thought they would be fun just in case I want to make some birthday cards or something It'd be nice to have these in my stash to pull from if I need them. So I got these because they are so cute. And then I got these carousel cards. I 
again, I did not have these in my stash. And they're four by six, and there's six of them in here. I don't remember off the top of my head how much these were. And then I also got these sticky note pages. These are awesome for layering in your projects. So I'm really excited to use these. And there's 30 sheets per stack. So you could do a ton of layering with these. These would be so cute to layer on top of embellishments and then like sew over top of. And then I got more papers. So I got more carousel papers. Um, I guess some of these oops, I haven't gone through. I have never seen this one in person. So I got that one. And then I got this one is also from Carousel. And then this is from Flourish. And it has all these gorgeous flowers on the back. And then they did have quite a few papers from the Shine collection. So I picked up quite a few. They have these rulers and some hearts on that one. This one is one of my favorites from the collection. And then these gold, gold, what? Pink diamonds. What the heck? That was weird. Um, and then this map. And the pinks. And then we've got this guy. And then I did get some Chasing Dreams ones. I got this one so I could cut apart the medallions. It's just got this striping on the back. And this one is like, I don't even know how to describe this, yellow checkered type thing going on. And these are just random words. And this one's also from Chasing Dreams. I'm sure you guys have seen most of this, but I thought I would share where I'm getting these goodies because it's kind of hard to find old Maggie Holmes collections at this point. So I've got this guy from Gather and this one as well. I think these were the only ones from Gather that were left. And then I did pick up a couple random papers. This is a Kaiser Craft, just really pretty floral and buffalo plaid. And this is from the You and Me collection from Echo Park. I guess it's kind of maybe supposed to be Valentine's Day, but totally matches many homes. Like, look at these swans. And then it has a really pretty floral in the back, too, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that. I should have got two of that one. So, that was everything I got from Paper Issues. And then the last store that I shopped from was just one that I found by searching on Google for Maggie Homes supplies. So I got this carousel paper pad, which I'm so excited about because now I can freely use the papers. And there's even some gold textures on some of the papers, if you can tell. So I got that carousel paper pad. Some of the, the stuff that they did have in stock was a really good price draft direct if you want to look that up. So I got two sets of these chipboard pieces because they were really affordable. They were, I want to say they were like $4 or less each. So I got two of them because everywhere else I saw them they were like 10 at least. So I got two of those from the carousel line. And then I also got this carousel paper pad. It's the six by eight paper pad and it has gold foiling. I love this paper so much. I don't think I've ever used that one before. Let's see. So these zebras have gold foiling and this floral has gorgeous foiling too. So there's foiling throughout this paper pad. And then I got another one of the Willow Lane paper pads just because I only have one right now. So I wanted to stock up on those, and then the other little lane stuff was pretty inexpensive on their website as well. So I got these three items, the die cuts, the puffy stickers, and I don't think I have these guys yet. So they're not that hard to make, but they're just easier to buy. So I like to buy these little tassels pre-made. Alright guys, I think that is everything that I got, and I will catch you on my next video.
Thanks. Bye.